In this video, I will be discussing the creation of visual objects and the use of the alignment tools. So, let's get started. I've got a little project here, got a few objects on it. These are just standard bit lamp images that we're showing here. I'm going to press Control Plus to zoom in a little bit. One thing we can do is cool little tool we've got. I'm going to jump to the selected library. And these are system lamps. And our system libraries have the ability to be able to change the color. And you can change the color by states or make them common through all states. So just as a quick example, I'm going to leave it this, this same round lamp here. And uh, as you can see here, we are on state zero. So I'm going to make um, state zero green. And I'm going to make state one red. So there you can see we've got state one and state two. Now uh, this object I'm going to change over to a shape. Oops. Now here, much the same way, you can uh, manipulate the colors and attributes from uh, one state to the next. Of course, we've got several libraries. Back in our pictures, I just grabbed a generic thing that's in the uh, template project. And see, so here are the two states in this one. I'll tell you what, let's find some better pictures. We'll do this uh, button library here. So let's say that you wanted to mix some of these options. We can always go back over to our project tab. And I accidentally hit that before. But we can uh, click and add a new one. So here you can see it's here in yellow. It's going to be object two of our project objects. So let's say I wanted state one to be blue. Come over here and copy it. Bring it over here and paste it. And for whatever crazy reason, I wanted yellow to be state one. I could just copy it over here and paste it. And then, of course, if I changed my mind and wanted yellow for state zero, I could just move it up or down. Uh, we can also bring in images from our um, from our disk drive and uh, let's see it can be any kind of pictures you want and I can make that a state 
of the object. Now these objects, you can make objects for either to enunciate either uh, bit values or word values. We've got multi-state objects. And of course, if it were a binary object, of course, there would only be two states used. So only the first two would be applicable. But if you're doing a, uh, say, a word lamp, and we're enunciating a value from zero to two, then of course these objects would display accordingly. Now sometimes when you're working things get kind of jumbled up and not very straight and it's it's kind of hard to eyeball these things and, and get them exactly where you want. So we provide some alignment tools on the Home tab. Uh, we can align. Uh, we can, we've also got a spacing tool. When you have groups selected, you can manually manipulate their size. We can make them all the same size or just the same height or width. Uh, we've got our layer tool here where you can set the layer of the objects. Uh, we've got our page alignment tools where you can move it to the whole area of the page you want. On our uh, ASCII objects, or even on our uh, numeric objects, and even on our bit objects, as far as the labeling goes. Each one of these situations, you have alignment of text that you need to think about. Well, we have added the ability for the developer to manipulate the position of the text within the object. And uh, the reason is, you know, let's say you had a reason you wanted text to show at a certain position in one state and in another position in the other you have the freedom to do that or you can always use the text alignment tools and manipulate that as well On the entry objects, the numeric entry or ASCII display objects, you can only manipulate the text position with the alignment tools in state zero because it is not a multi-state thing. So state one, it doesn't, doesn't even know what you're talking about. So as long as we're in state zero, we can use the same alignment tools and uh, this does only apply to the current state on all the other objects that about does it for this video thanks for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our instructional videos.